Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, so, I haven't actually looked. Yeah, this is way longer. Huh. Okay, so there's way more up ahead. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I kind of thought that we would literally divert its path and then the, the mission would be over. Minor indeed. Oh, some of these are tank mines, yeah. Okay. Taking the shortcut out, you know? Like the D10 express elevator. Um. Hmm. Don't got no nothing here. Be support. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. I would love to see a manga like that. Knowing Japan, there probably is one, but, like, the concept of, like, hey, we're literally, like, just a team of guys. We have nothing going on for us. We have nothing going for us, but we own one tank between us all. Uh-oh. Get it a cover. Wait, what? No, a shield. Stay away from the front end. It's too dangerous. What exactly does Valkyria mean? Does it mean bulletproof? Because that's what I need. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Risky. Man, so that's just a thing. I guess it procs when she's at low life. Maybe I canceled it by having her heal herself then. Uh, interesting to be sure, but I don't know what the implication of that is. Also, there's a certain like art artistry to drawing like Japanese style tiny tanks. That always just looks so awesome. Like, the Metal Gear only kind of counts because the whole thing of the Metal Gear is that it's a legged tank. It's a tank with legs. Whole thing. Leave it to me. Um, but the Metal Gear, the original Metal Gears, not Rex and the, the big scary ones that we have now. But, you know, classic Metal Gears are so cute looking. They're so fun. Grounded? No, not. I'll save that for later. Fire. Spray just in case I get in there. Shake the tree and see what falls out. Get ready to die, imps. Um, yeah, the Metal Gear is like really cute. The fun, it's a fun design and it and it makes a cute little guy. Um the TX-88, I want to say, is the name of that Metal Gear model. Um, Just watch this. Sorry, I only kind of remember. Um, like, I'm a huge Metal Gear mark. I normally have my, my stuff up behind me. You Joker's still all right? Joker's, I like that. Um, I normally have a bunch of Metal Gear posters up behind me, but as I'm moving, I've uh, taken them all down. Um, they're now next to me, but... Yeah, I'm a massive, massive Metal Gear mark. Um... But the problem is, is that, like, Metal Gear's finished. Don't even try to fight it head like, I don't want to say that Metal Gear's dead, because I don't really want to put that on there, but, like, Metal Gear is done. The last game has come out, and the director is no longer interested in working on it. Uh, those elements will come up again, but Kojima just loves certain things, and he keeps putting those in his games, you know? Wait, what? Did somebody get clipped? That's bad. Oh, there's a thing next to it. I actually don't know if I want to slow it down, though. I would also need to run back into danger in order to get it.
I don't think anyone's dead forever because I didn't get like a big message for it. Entering combat. All right. Shunter the mount. Fire! You're going down first. Shunter. Weird. Oh, I guess something that Zaka can actually do is I was thinking about this. Um, I realized that Zaka is able to. Uh, attack uh, attack Lancers because Lancers resist um, a lot of stuff but you can use the flamethrower to kill a Lancer and I think it kills them just as good um, I think that's the basic way that it works but I you know I know I'm like a million hours in but like still not 100% up to up to snuff on this game Why don't we look over here? So it looks like there's another thing that we can use to stop the tank. Fifty-three shots. Don't even think of dodging. All right, as long as every single shot hits. Well, they, something happened at least. Does it mark my things? I have to get the... Oh, you're a sniper. So you gotta go. Like, soon. Get ready to die, imps. I'm gonna need Homer up here at some point soon in order to fix these tanks because they are taking a pounding. Watch out for them. Die, die, die. Just do some chip damage. I was talking about Q tanks. Um, yeah, the Metal Gear for Metal Gear and the Metal Slug for Metal Slug are both really cute looking tanks. Um, they're just very cute, cartoony, like me, almost friendly looking tanks. And like, I know that the plot of those games is like, oh, the game is named after its main problem. The Metal Slug will kill us all in the game Metal Slug. It's the biggest problem. Uh, and like... The same is true for Metal Gear. Metal Gear is a big problem that will likely get everyone killed. Actually, you need to die first. I'm realizing. Because the other guys can't react fire. Nice, cool. Yeah, they can only go on their turn. They can't shoot back. So that means that it's safe to move up on them. Because it's a sniper and a lancer. I'll move everyone up just because they all need to be up, but... Homer, they're right over here. Relax. It's fine, baby, please. Yeah, like, an ace sniper sounds scary, but, like, it isn't. Um. But yeah, despite the fact that the plots of those games are, like, this is the biggest problem ever and it'll kill everyone and this is the thing that we need to worry about, this is all we need to focus on. The metal slugs, uh, the metal slug is cute. We're just so far away. What do we have left in command points? We have four. So we can move you up. Because you're, in, you're I think, in the blast range. So we just need to get you out of the blast range anyway. I've got an idea, too. We'll scooch the Edelweiss up so it draws the fire from the Lancer. Anymore, you'll be in 
and then we shoot one of them. Uh-oh. Luck and why? Partially on me, I know. I'm ready to go. It's just so much responsibility. This has to work, right? <laughs> When it works, it works. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Uh, here. And then we'll try to look dead at you. Theoretically, hopefully, the Lancer should be shooting at the tank because that's where the problem is, but. And then, yeah, that means perfect. Brilliant. Just what I wanted and needed. Oh yeah, I, I reread that thing uh, uh, that, that Varat talks about where she describes them as shock-sensitive pressure. No, shock-sensitive pressure timers or whatever. Shock-sensitive time bombs. Anyway, it doesn't make any more sense. It's still stupid. <laughs> okay. Zaka, please use your tiny, tiny gun. Thank you. I know it's Ragnite, and Ragnite can do anything, but... You yeah, know. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Zaka is the one for this back here, so. Make sure to keep your distance. Let's just get him out of the troubles. I feel like I could use Zaka a lot more efficiently if he had, like, double the moves. Alright, sorry, I just wanted to check my, uh... Check my walkthrough. I am now using a walkthrough. This is the first time I've ever actually used a walkthrough on this game. Just because this is confusing and I don't want to get this wrong because... It's frustrating as is. Try to strike the enemy's flank. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. So I guess we'll all muster up down here. Mm-hmm. Rock slide is imminent. Don't you worry, we all know. Largo is way down here. We gotta move you up. I wonder if I could have gotten in, um, gotten more command points, like more bang for my buck, if I like didn't have Jane in here, if I didn't have Frisia. I think I'll have to use Frisia for this though. So I'm glad I have her, but I just wonder if I could have gotten a little more like command point out of this because yeah, I'm pretty sure both of these need to be armed in order for the thing to work and then that only used half her turn so we'll just run her back to wherever the hell she was okay And then, I'm getting excited. Been waiting here. Uh, I'll scoot Lego up again. Just because Largo is lagging behind like nuts. And then everyone has to scoot up. So I'll take all three of you and scoot you all up. Um, hmm. Let's just top you off, just because I know you'll need it. Actually, I don't know that you'll need it. I'm assuming that you'll need it, but like... Hopefully we're gonna get a save point in between this and like a real fight. Usually this is the size of the maps, though. Um... 
I can only assume that that's like a limitation of the PlayStation 3 because this was, you know, a PlayStation 3 game. You can even see the save menu is the baked in PS3 save menu, which I think is funny. Yeah. Run that little inch more. I wonder what the thing is measured in, actually. Like, is it in inches? That would be kind of funny. All right. We'll move Largo up twice next turn if necessary, but everyone's here. After me, kiddos. All right, I'm getting excited. I can only imagine that the final boss must be coming up. I wonder if this is going to be a thing of, like, I'm going to go ahead and burn it. Like, just in case it ends here. Nobody else needs to move. Largo could need to move three turns again. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if the last boss is going to be the, the commander guy. Uh, Borg. Prime Minister Borg. Just because, like... Man, what the hell? You literally, you're literally turn coding at the last possible second. Could have done it years ago. If that was your plan, but like, ugh. I wonder what they're gonna do. Um, or maybe it'll be a thing of like, hey, it's me, I'm Prime Minister Borg. Uh, ignore that treason, please. And then everyone's like, no. At the at the worst possible moment, you were like, by the way, if I get the opportunity, I'm selling you out. You confirmed that for everyone. We're ac acutely aware of the fact that you would have done that. And then he goes to jail. And then I guess everything's fine in Valkyria? Valkyria. In, in Gallia. Alright. Chamrock needs to be scooted up here. Alright. That's about face here. Just so we have our Ragnite battery not exposed. Okay. Oh yeah, I could have waited. Okay. That's fine though. Just send a message. There's so much stuff on it. Like, I know our Ragnite stores are, are prodigious and, and useful and great and all, but, like... The amount of steel that the Empire must have access to is, like, a miracle. This is a real thing that did happen in, in the real world, though, because, like... The reason that Britain took over the world is that, like... One crazy enough dude, Alpha the Grey, was able to unite all these all these people. Uh, he was able to unite all these people, and then like a massive area was actually one country then, and like that wasn't the case for a while. Um, because normally like. Ugh. Normally, you would have, you know, a bunch of smaller areas that, you know, are, like, the fact that that's a country is arguable, even. Um, oh, it has little eyes on it. That's funny. And a big old nose. Sir! Let's block... Okay, like, I'm, I'm skipping through that dialogue. I know I haven't heard it before, and usually that's against the rules, but, like, man, what could they possibly say? They literally were like, do that thing again. And I have already done it, so. I guess we'll just end the turn. I like how it's still following roads. That's funny. Like, I know that it does require a large flat surface in order to operate just because it's so wide and flat itself, but, like, a little funny. Big cutscene. Um, 
yeah, Britain's Britain's unification was like that's why they were such a big deal, and like they had so much land to farm with and so many resources and all that. Oh, yeah, cool, great. That's what I wanted. Operation complete. Uh, and yeah, they just had all that stuff, and like, well, well, cool. Now we can we can do that. Um. And the same thing actually happened with Germany's unification because there were a lot of like Germanic states and you know almost tribal stuff going on and like we don't even have a Prussia now, you know. But Germany's unification was like they just have so much stuff now and that's that really works for them. We're still using cannonballs? It's probably a turn of phrase. Well, boss, what's your plan? It's not our plan. It's someone else's plan. No wonder of nature up your sleeve to fix this one, Lieutenant. Hey, is that a person out there? What are they thinking? What? Yeah. That's Alicia. She's going to attack that thing all by herself. I did call that a little That's bit. Insane. Why? What does she think she can do against that juggernaut? Alicia! Guys, she's a Valkyria, though. It should be fine. <laughs> like, I know that we... Oh. Yeah, that will work, actually. I, I see. one way but i have found another i know how i can give my life as a valkyria meaning i can use my power i can stop this thing i'll stoke my life fire into a blaze i'll save you i'll save Brule, my friends and everyone else in galia man remember when you were trying to shoot and arrest me for being a traitor But yeah, that big boost of uh, uh, of juice that Germany got was part of what made World War One happen. Cause like World War One partially happened. World War One happened for a lot of things, but um, one of the things was like people were legitimately just very skittish that Germany is now a power. Like there is a a, a just a force that can do all that. So the maximum is is 20, I think. Please scout. <laughs> I wonder if they would ever make a game about Val uh, uh, EW1. Hey, we got everyone engineers, or everyone elites. Neutralize. Protects one ally from being counterattacked. Interesting. That would have been useful um, while fighting uh, uh, Salvaria. Okay. We're gearing up for the final battle. Let's pursue all these to their natural conclusion. Oh man, keep it going, huh? Here you Bro, what? Okay, that one will be chapter 17, I guess. Oh. I wonder if chapter 18 is gonna even be a thing. Or wait, is there a chapter 18? Damn it. I don't remember what I know when I Google it again. I know that I'm getting close to the end. Um, oh, also, th these are now Valkyria Chronicles episodes that are launching in, like, the frozen time. In that time where I'm moving. I am still between houses right now. 
Uh, it's very annoying and unfortunate. Oh, what? Damn. Oh, that's good, at least. Grab that. Um, yeah, I'm between houses right now, and it's irritating to be sure, but not much I can do. Um, and so these are now episodes that are launching uh, every other day, which means that we loosely are getting, like, we're getting loosely one update of every LP a week, and, like, I'm I'm glad that I'm able to deliver that at least. Um, obviously, there are some times where it lags a bit behind. Aren't you uh currently being like jailed? Also, I wonder what her plan was. Like, I know that like she could have just been leading people or been in a tank or something like that. But like, it would make sense if royal blood was also Valkyria blood. Okay, um... Ugh. Drop range. Better damage. I don't really want to give you that. What's the range? Dang, that's a big drop of, of, uh, of juice. Better accuracy, better damage. I'll take damage for you. I'll take accuracy for you. This is something that I feel like I might have been able to do without. Just because, like, I have so many guys, I don't really want to be equipping them all. Like, this is, this is a bit too granular for me. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll go read the writing on the wall. I want to do it on camera. Hey. I know that I haven't gotten the chance, huh? The new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I couldn't help it. <sighs> Morning the 28th brought news of the Galleon Force victory at Nagyar. The figures are unclear. It's safe to say this win came with significant cost of Galleon lives, but with Imperial casualties to match. The cost might have been greater had a second Valkyria not emerged in the Galleon Force. In a duel fought with lances and shields of legend, it was Galleon women who, women who claimed victory, and the Imperial defenses fell after. Uh, army officials have issued no comment on the Galleon Valkyria. The survivors of the Nagyar operation likely have her to thank for their lives. Uh, Ari, your open human rights initiative has asked the continent's leaders to address the refugee problem. Armed conflict and displaced people have long gone hand in hand, but the condition of Europa has refugee numbers than ever recorded, higher than ever recorded. And the question of how to help them fast is becoming a paramount issue. Ari volunteers are slated to be sent to camps all over the continent to offer needed food and medical treatment to their inhabitants. Ben Tamal sounds like a, sounds vaguely like an Indian name. I wonder if there's like a fantasy India in the way that there's been a fantasy German, Britain, and uh, uh, Switzerland. Uh, a spokesman who's worked on behalf of refugee, refugees for two decades stated, Man's hopes for peace are hollow without the will to cast aside superficial differences in race, nation, and religion in order to win it. I like it, Ben Tamil. I wonder what your deal is. You know? That's the thing that this game is pretty good at. I do feel like I'm looking into people's stories here. And, like, the way that they're, like, yeah, so this person wants to be, like, a like a, a baker after they're all done. Or, like, this person is a, a, a singer. You know, all that stuff. That's nice, you know? Being a soldier should not consume your life. You know, it should be a job, strictly speaking. Uh, Army Relay has confirmed that Gallia took the Citadel Ghirlandio in the latest clash at Gallia's border. Erstwhile headquarters of the Imperial Command fell after the Army opened its front gates with an explosive rail car and flooded inside. Offic no official numbers were released. The operation cost Gallia's forces significant casualties. This is another thing that I've noticed. They want to put a lot of ga uh, casualties on Gallia, but those all happen in the army, so they aren't the protagonist, so I don't care. And, like, I, have ev I even have reason to dislike the army. 
like I have explicit reason to not like the army because they're going to be dicks about me being in the militia. Um, it's a little weird. But like, yeah, th there's been so many things where like, they're like, oh yeah, so like a million people died in this fight. I'm like, not under my watch. I feel like it, it contributes a certain thing to it. It makes it a little strange. Uh, early the following morning, an explosion of unknown cause raised the area, annihilating the primary division of Gallia's army with it. Commander of the Central Gallian Force, General Damon, was lost in the blast. Oh, no. Uh, experts suggest an accident in the armory is the cause, but no firm details have been uncovered. An independent investigation into the blast at Gerlandio. Uh, our correspondent found the blast radius and conditions of the aftermath match those with the Dresden incident within the Empire during EW1. Uh-huh. So this isn't new, but it did happen before. And the Empire has been using Valkyria to do this for a while now. Caused when an explosion within the arsenal at one Imperial outpost caused a chain reaction among weapons, gunpowder, and a massive store of Ragnoline, the blast erased Dresden and remains one of the largest ever recorded. The Galleon military has maintained its claimed investigation underway, offering no further comment. Eyewitness accounts confirm the characteristic blue glow of Ragnite was found, enforcing the possibility of Ragnoline explosion. That, that. Captain Verat and Welkin. These are so expensive, man. Come back. I want to be able to buy them, but, like, they're so low priority. Like, I need guns. I'm fighting a war here. <laughs> People are dying. What would you have me do? Okay. The actual in-game time says 25 hours. I've been playing for 40 hours. Uh, doing some simple math here. That means that only uh, 6.25 or... No, 62.5% of my time playing has actually been preserved, like saved. All of the rest has been me, well, in some cases, sitting in loading screen, but the rest has been me starting over and resetting. Is that high quality stuff. Like, I commented on this before, but, like, Valkyria are, like, precision weapons. Like, if she's gonna... If she's going to be bulletproof, shouldn't... Shouldn't or couldn't she just climb in there? There's gotta be a door. Little Evangelion moment here. I wonder if, like, is dead. I wonder if the intense fervor of being a Valkyria comes with the territory, you know? Because all of them have been, like, ideological nuts. Fool. What does she think to do? Sacrifice herself and take the Marmota down with her? W what else, dude? 45 degrees to port. All ahead full. Now! I'm surprised he's sitting on, like, a normal chair. I would have thought he would have had, like, a crazy throne. Alicia! Welkin! Why are you here? Leave! I'm destroying the Marmota. Only I can do it. But you blew a hole in it. Couldn't we climb in? My death could save a whole country! Alicia, you're wrong. You could destroy them with your power. But that's not real victory. What? Real what? Victory. Is something we must claim for ourselves without relying on your power. What does this mean? Welkin, I can't. Valkyrian blood runs in my veins. I'm not human like you are. You're right. It's true that you have powers that we don't have. But so what? You're still yourself, Alicia. Casual, so what? Baker. Alicia, has any of that changed? You may be Valkyria, but you're still the same girl. Welcome, I... You mean so much to me, Alicia. 
I will not let you come to harm. I will protect you. Alicia, I love you. Logan. Alicia, once this war is finished, will you be with me? I would be with you, together, always. Oh, the love theme. They're going to go be in the live stream. <laughs> Sorry, I'm attempting to maintain my commentary. Ugh. Okay, I'm a big man. Second time crying on this channel? I think so. <sighs> For those who are newcomers, I also cried during uh, Omori while playing Omori. <sighs> Welcome. I'm cool. Alicia. Ooh, you're making me blush over here. <laughs> but, uh, you sure that's wise? You know, this being a combat zone and all. Uh. Hey! Just look at the happy couple. And I get the big scoop. Shut up. That is, I would if it were anyone else. But for you two, well, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Just this once, you hear? Court martial her. Alicia, right away. Welcome back. Thank you. All of you. I missed you so. You were gone for like five minutes. You dropped this, boss. So, welcome. We'll hear your orders. I love that little hat. We go to hunt the Marmota. We'll head straight for Rangris. All right, everyone. Let's get moving. So, Alicia, I know that we're like, oh, we can't use your Valkyria stuff, but like, man, beggars and choosers. Chapter 17. Uh, the bridge to oh, I see my mans. I see Roddy Yeager in there. You can't deny it. He's there. I seize him. <laughs> um, 26 hours. So slightly more than 40. Um, or slightly more than 62.5%. Uh, uh, um, oh, man. I'm so much more hyped for my rematch with Roddy Yeager. They give you a little bit of him early on, and then they're like, "Sir, we're hey, almost to the Great Vassal Bridge." You like this guy? He'll be back eventually. Good. Once we cross every that, other fight has just been building just sizzle for that rematch. I don't care about what happens after that rematch. It's gonna be rad. Uh, the enemy is deployed, blocking the bridge. I guess we're gonna blow through them. Those tanks are. That's Jaeger's battalion. <laughs> Just our luck, it's him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice of you to join us, my militia friends. Nothing personal, but the road ends here. Nothing personal, he says. My country, Firald, needs Maximilian Feral. support. So that's new. Independence, you see. Oh, so he's a rebel in his own country. And if it means getting Firald back... I don't mind playing the man's guard dog. What if we get it back? General Jaeger! The Gallians are attacking, sir! I thought he was talking to us. Let them attack. We'll show them what the tank brigade's made of. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So, I guess 18... I guess this is going to be... Yeah, this will be the fight with Jaeger. And then I guess 18 is going to be the fight with the Marmota and, and then Maximilian. Lieutenant Faldio lands it. Get in. Huh. At least I get a roof over my head. I feel bad. Again, fantastic work of just showing what everyone's up to in this war. I don't get it. How did two squad leaders wind up in a fight? 
thought you were friends. Hey, he's got the little scout symbol on his head. No friend could do what I did to him. Now this is supposed to be solitary. <laughs> Leave me alone, would you? That's awesome. Just don't do anything stupid for the next 10 days. I won't, don't worry. Say, is your mom a Valkyria? How do we get to thinking about Look, what if we just use Alicia's power for like another. five minutes? I figured we'd be friends as old men. Oh, that's sad. I still wish that were possible. What if we just use her power for like five minutes? But I can't deny the feeling. And then blow a couple holes, and then you turn harder. back, and then we just shoot at those holes with our regular guns. I hope we get the chance to talk this out. Like she did throw the lance through talk it. Why don't we just do that like a couple of times? Of course, that could be what is going to happen in the last chapter. Oh boy. Um, I'm actually very, very excited to play. I'm very juiced to continue, but unfortunately I have to cut it here. Um, I actually, it's not even a thing of like, I don't know that I have the next 40 minutes. This has been a thing with Valkyria Chronicles. I need to, you know, do stuff in order to, uh, I need to do stuff in order to, you know, make sure that I have time to record the next episode. Uh, cause like, Obviously, these episodes are 40, 45 minutes. Some of them have been shorter just because of stuff. Some of them have been longer in the early times. But I need 45 minutes to make the whole episode. But also, I need another hour after that because a lot of times I'm continually restarting and resetting and, you know, doing all sorts of stuff in order to, you know, just because I, I have to. I, I have to keep restarting and playing more. Uh, and so, like, normally I need, like, at least an hour to make an episode. I've been here for, you know, an hour and 40 minutes, and I only did two episodes, um, even though there was less time because I just need to do stuff in every episode off camera. Um, but I'm needed in, like, five minutes in this case. It's not even like I don't have a spare 40 minutes. I'm needed, like, now. <laughs> uh... I'm very, very excited to play. I'm going to finish it next time I record, I imagine, but I'll see you next time. I've been offered this has been Valkyria Chronicles. We're coming close on the end. Um, I'll do that thing where I consecutively release a few episodes just to make sure that I can get through the end of the game um, quickly. But yeah, see you next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.